So just to practice first, I'm gonna grab a clean page of my sketchbook and I'm gonna grab an H pencil. This is an HB, so it's just a regular number two pencil, they call it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to start to block in the shapes that I see just on my little still life scene now. And what I'm gonna to try to do is almost like a, like a gesture drawing. So I'm doing the oval opening on my cup. And I'm just gonna to try to block in where some of these things are. I may have to go back in later. I'm doing this darker than you guys should. You guys should do your uh, initial blocking in shapes nice and light with the H pencil so that you can go back in later and erase. Okay, I got my little cup handle over here. Push it a little bit bigger. Block in, remember it's a curved bottom if it's a curved top. And then over here I'm seeing my paint container. Another cylinder here, straight up, another oval. And the cylinder comes back down behind, okay? So this is what it's called to block in shapes. And this is what you're gonna do as a practice in your sketchbook after you've taken your photo. And then next class, you're gonna be doing the real thing. So here I'm noticing that my fuzzy paint roll comes up behind here and then is open. Okay, like that. And then comes down and touches the table. Okay. So I don't have a sketchbook right now, but this is just kind of how I'm blocking out some of my shapes. And now the next part is gonna to be to go in and start to shade some of them, erase certain lines, like I need to erase this because the paintbrush is in front of the uh, mug. And then I can also make sure that I erase some of these lines here because the paint is behind the mug. The last thing I need to draw is my bucket, which is gonna be kind of up here. Hard to do this one-handed. Have it come down on the sides like this. And then the bottom of my bucket, you can see right down in there. So the bottom of my bucket, I'm gonna draw like this, okay? So this is a little practice you can do in your sketchbook before we start the real thing. And this you could title blocking in shapes and this is where you're going to be practicing placement overlapping and you can put the date okay next step is going to be to do the real thing on our big piece of paper okay so here is my still life it has a variety of textures some shiny things some fuzzy things some white light things and some dark things and now i'm going to take a picture of it with my ipad uh, click, right, and while someone, my trusty assistant here, holds a white piece of paper in the background. Okay, now Brett, you can take that away. Now, now that I have my photo taken, I can do what's called blocking in shapes in my sketchbook, which is trying to draw which shapes are in front of which other shapes in my sketchbook just as a little practice. I'll show you guys what I mean.